to Pete and Hannah's review show, What's Next? The show where we help you figure out what to watch next. I'm here with my great co-host, Hannah. Hello. Hannah, on today's show, we have movie news and clickbait. Hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. But before we begin, let us tell the viewers what they should do. Could you pretty please leave a like and subscribe to S our channel? Subscribe. And leave a comment down below on what you're comment watching. Comment down Hit the notification button and you'll get great content like this one. We're available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your great podcasts. Mm -hmm. Also on YouTube. And we do some fun stuff on Instagram and TikTok. But, Hannah, yes. we're here today to talk about click bait and it is brought to you by me now and i'm going to back mm -hmm. over one of our uh favorite movies of the year i want to talk about a little bit more about salt burn oh interesting okay. now i've been reading a lot of articles about uh this movie is terrible it's divisive and you know oh, so people don't people don't get it and all this stuff Let's let's talk a little bit about it. So a lot of people have seen it now. It's uh, directed by Amber Fennell. It's you can catch our full review. Barry Keel, just oh, uh, yeah. a lordy, amazing. But people are fundamentally not getting what this movie is about. It's about one guy falling for another guy, and that guy has been spawned by the other guy. So he decides to take everything away from him. I heard it's also a kind of a recreation of a uh, bride's head. Yeah. The and so it's like a modern day, like a well, two thousand six retelling of the story, like a new version of it. Yeah. And I would say a lot of people just don't know what they're getting into with this movie. I think when you watch the trailer and you're like, oh, you see all these really well known actors or in this movie, and you're like, a lot of people are not expecting what they get with this one. Uh, I would also just want to point out that. Um, so the director also directed Promising Young Women. Yeah. And I just want to put another fun fact here. One of Rita Moruto's top five movies is Promising Young Woman. Love it. So I just... Every chance Hannah gets, she brings up Rita Moreno. <laughs> Anytime she pops up on something, I'm like, I will give it a five-star rating because it's Rita Moreno. <laughs> it's really okay for people not to like movies. Like, we didn't oh. like Killers of the Flower Moon and everyone liked it. Yeah. And it's okay, and it's good to have discussions about movies like this. Yeah. That's, I think that was the point of this. And that's what I was trying to do, like, because it seems like it's everyone's just pushing in one direction with this movie. But yeah, which is weird. I thought it was going to get so much love. Oh, yeah. Because I honestly... We read it so wrong. I, I went into it going, this isn't going to be great, to, oh my god, this, this is... If John Wick 4 didn't come out, this is my movie of the year. Like, this is my mad mofus. I just... I think this is incredible. I think people are really trying to overcomplicate it as well because they're just like, oh, well, what's the true meaning behind his feelings? Like, the guy was in love with another guy and the guy was kicking well, him to the curb. Well, also, he was just pinning him as his mark. Yeah. Like, that's. Well, he became, like, I think he became that after I, he got. I'm, he got I, yeah, away. but I would also give it. It's like a, a little movie called uh, House of Gucci, which, yes, based on true events, where uh, Lady Gaga's. Yeah. character real version uh, uh she she's like um Patricia. she's she sees a guy the guy says his name is gucci she immediately is like i've got to get me some of that yeah they have a huge romance she's she stands by him and then brings him up and then he tries to take it away from her mate that's a really good and point i just here. and Great point. people didn't like that movie either didn't like it either so yeah. it's interesting that uh people i guess People expect different things going into movies, I yeah. guess. Maybe they expected a love story from Gucci. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. No, like, the, I'll, another uh, comment people have been saying is, like, there's some shock uh, factor scenes. and well, the shock factor. It doesn't make any sense to the movie, but it does. I think it does because, because it shows it, how incredibly demented this person yeah, is. Yeah, he was really badly felt for this whole family. Uh, he wanted to be... I also want to point out... When I've been noticing people going to see this movie and then being like, oh my god. And then they mention the bathtub scene. Mm. When I'm like, okay, the bathtub scene? Sure. But like, the grave, grave scene? scene is way yeah. more intense. Like, it's, you see that happening and you're like, oh yeah, the bathtub scene? Well, it's like, yeah. that's nothing. Uh, so, drop a comment below 
and drop a comment on all our social media feeds yeah, and tell if, us what your thoughts are. If you've when it comes seen Saltburn salt and you're like, Ooh. or if you haven't and you're just hearing about the opinions, are you swayed by said opinions? Yeah. Like so for those that like seeing uh, or watching or listening this for the first time, clickbait is just like what comes to our mind when we're watching movies, and sometimes it's a list, and sometimes it's what's going on in pop culture, and we're sort of reacting to it. And it's, it's it's all about just like getting our feelings out in this just, this, this verbal form. We just form. want to talk out opinions. So that is clickbait today. The next is mm-hmm. my favourite segment, Hannah, and moving news. Welcome back to movie news. This week, have you ever wanted to start your own fight club and pick up chicks at the same time? Well, lucky for you, you can pick up some tips in the movie Bottoms. This adult high school comedy is from the makers and producers of Cocaine Bear and (laughs) Pitch Perfect. Basically, two unpopular girls need a way of survival in this school where the popular jocks are basically threatening them. And they start, why not a defense club? And why not a helpful way to also pick up the other girls? Sounds like, what could go wrong? Do you like Julia Roberts? And do you like psychological thrillers? Well, Netflix has a movie for you. It's called A World We Leave Behind. When a family goes down to Long Island for a vacation, this other family shows up and they deal with the impending crisis that there might be a media blackout. that The world may be not okay. And starting to start to happen and can these families coexist? Can Mahershala Ali, Kevin Bacon, Ethan Hawke, and Julie Roberts coexist? Find out. This week, the craziest thing I would ever put my hand in to see. Yes, the journey to Bethlehem. You might be saying, yes, it's a retelling of the birth of Jesus Christ. A Christmas classic, some would say. But why not throw in some spice and make it a musical? With pop, almost Broadway numbers, this film has injected some life in the story, I guess, that was already there to begin with. But why not throw in Antonio Banderas? Yes, Puss in Boots to sing. Wonderful. That is what we're going to be seeing this week. Leave a comment down below on what you'll be watching. And until next week, bye. Tana, what's next for us? We are going to be watching Bottoms, which is the yes. Girl Fight Club movie. We've been painting for this one. Yes. We're really looking forward the to that. producers of Pitch Perfect and Cocaine Bear. I mean, yeah. come on. This is a, yeah, it looks so incredibly funny. We're also going to have a look at the Netflix movie um, starring Julia Roberts and um, Mahershali, um, oh, yeah. Ethan Hawke. Uh, leave the world behind. Uh, yeah, it's in cinemas now, and it's coming soon to Netflix. And finally, we're going. We're not going to see Trolls. We're not going to see. But I. Um, but we're going to see Journey to Bethlehem. Oh. We are. Yes. I've been shocked. I've been trying to get this one to see it. <laughs> now that I found out, guess what? Journey to Bethlehem is a musical, guys. It's a musical, fun for the whole family. Three strange films. Thanks, everyone, for uh, watching and listening. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate all your feedback and support. Hannah, anything else to add on this great show? I'll watch anything that is a musical. Anything. Legitimately, put some songs in there, put a really incredible song. I'm there. So what's next for us? We have the Blockbuster Showdown dropping Friday. Yep. We'll also have a look at Thriller Trash on Saturday. Sunday, we'll just do a recap of all the pods this week. And then Monday is Can You Guess the Movie? And then back to Tuesday, it's AFI Top 100 and Movie 99 and it's Toy Story. So that's our next couple of days here on Pete and Hannah's watch list. Thanks everyone for listening and watching. Until next week when we try to figure out what to watch next. It's...